Hi, I'm Sadie Nardini, founder of Core Strength Vinyasa Yoga. So before you begin this sequence, make sure and warm up with three to five of my core sun salutations. So make sure that you're nice and warm before attempting to open these groins and the inner thighs. Once you feel pretty heated, you're going to come into warrior two stance and then turn your toes a little bit farther forward than usual. Clasp your hands together behind your back. Inhale, offering your heart, and exhale. This is Waterfall Warrior. It's good for a lot of things, but when you bow a little lower, you really start stretching out through those adductors or those inner thighs. So you're inhaling and exhale. Do that a few times, and when you feel like that front leg is nice and warm, you're going to step forward, keep the hands clasped, and do it on the other side. So you can add this into your regular practice as a sequence to really get these pesky inner legs open. Exhale. Once you're finished there, on that one side, I'll just start with the first side, you're going to straighten your front leg, turn both toes to parallel, the short sides of your mat, keep your hands clasped, inhale, offer, and exhale, fold down into fan pose. So at first, as you're opening those inner thighs, you might not get down so far, but that's okay. You can hover here, really pressing your legs down. Slowly, over time, you'll go a little deeper. Keep those shoulders on the back. And after a few breaths here, plant your fingertips down and you can bend one knee. So really taking a nice stretch in, eventually coming down onto those forearms if it feels okay. You want to keep your leg nice and active here, maybe lift the toes up, come back to center and bend the other knee. So we're getting a nice stretch in here, breathing and bowing the head, keeping your legs nice and active. All right, coming back to center. Walk the feet in, and after your second side, you'll be coming down here to sit. Opening up into a wide angle pose. Take the flesh back from your sitting bones so you get those hamstrings, those thighs underneath, wide. Because opening the back of the legs is important to help this, the inner legs open too. So from here, bring your fingertips behind you. Inhale, press the legs down. Not so much that the heels lift, that's hyperextending your knees, but keep those heels down, grounded legs. Inhale, offer that. Exhale, fold. Just come halfway down into your stretch. So we're gonna do a three-part stretch here, which is gonna help you open a lot of different areas of your legs. So we're gonna come into the inner thigh with the right hand. Sweep the left arm up. Breathing, planting those legs down. It should be very active in the legs. Arm over the ear if you wanted to get a nice stretch here in the back body. And then coming back to center. Inhale, exhale, just halfway down. Take little waves from side to side. And then try that on the other side, palms facing up. If that's too much for you, you're a little higher than that, that's okay. Come up here, work there over time. And opening through your heart. And then slowly center. Inhale, offer. Exhale, fold just an inch deeper. So refrain from going all the way down too fast. Just offering nice fluidity over those grounded legs. Then keep it low, come forward. Inhale, offer. Exhale, fold straight over your front leg. Make sure that you're not rounding in and pressing the head down too much. That's not a great stretch. So you want to keep the heart open, even if you're way up here. Fold from the hip crease. And you can use your hand on the foot over time or back it off to keep integrity in the spine. Then come back to center. Offer. Every time you do that, you're going to come a little bit lower, you'll notice. Keep it low. Other side. Offering in a wave, keeping the heart open and folding. And again, spend as much time as you need to on each leg. Then offer here and exhale. Take it a bit deeper. Maybe forearms here. Maybe a little bit wider to provide you with some weight to come down to the floor a little farther with, but if you're really feeling it high up in the groins or behind your knees, you're too low. You want to feel it in the belly of the muscle here. So no pushing in this pose, just inhaling and offering it down. Come up to sit when you're finished with both sides and bring the feet together. Let your heels slightly separate here for goddess pose. Inhale, offer. Exhale. So I just pull the elbows back to keep the heart long, otherwise it tends to round in. Over time, when you get closer, you can bring the elbows in front of your shins, press back to reach the heart long. 
That feels great. Really rolling those sitting bones back and offering the heart. And then in time, from that long heart, you can bow forward. Okay. You can try Tarasana after that. Send the feet a little bit farther forward. So you can inhale, hang onto the ankles, and exhale again. Come on in. So you can be here providing some resistance back. And when you're stretchy enough in this pose, you can place your forehead into the soles of your feet. But really, there's no rush for that. Just keep the stretch happening healthfully in the legs, first priority. Breathing in and breathing out. And then coming back to center, you're going to lie down on your back in supine goddess pose, breathing. Inhale into the heart, into the belly. Exhale, letting it go. A few breaths here, just expanding and contracting. And when you're finished with that, extend those legs long into Shavasana and take a rest. I hope you enjoy your practice. Nice open inner thighs means a nice open practice in all other aspects of your body. So enjoy. And I'll see you again. Namaste.